What is up? Apex Reaper here. Welcome back to Mo Yesterday Origins. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's been a couple days since I played, but when I reloaded, the game said I can't find my phone. So we gotta look for our phone. Nope. Nope. Uh huh. Nope. Not over there. Not over there. I don't know. Also, I hope I fix the sound. I did turn it up. It just seems like I can turn it up a little more. We'll try that. Hopefully that's good. If it needs to go up higher, just let me know. Although I record a few episodes at a time, so in between it's a you know a little different. Uh, we're looking for our phone. We check our jacket. Pillow. It's always behind the pillow. Why? Who? No. Go away. Pillow. You look for your cell phone under the pillow and find nothing. No duh. She stole our phone, dude. You know this. The last time you came to New York to fetch Boris from the asylum, he insisted on visiting the Chrysler building. Luckily, he didn't let you go beyond the main hall. They didn't let you go beyond the main hall. Why is that lucky? Maybe your cell phone fell inside? No, impossibly. Alright, uh, TV? No, your cell phone is not by the TV. You don't even think of turning the TV on. If you try looking for even yeah. You wish you had left your phone here, but that's not just not the case. You know what you do, dude? You call it. Go that way! Controlling in this game sometimes. You look behind the nightstand and find no trace of your cell phone. Call. Why what? Call your phone! You have a phone there. Call it. What's our girlfriend's name? Pauline? I think. Yeah. Reception? Cell phone. I think I lost my cell. Ow. Maybe I left it somewhere in the hotel. Let me see. Hmm. If it's here, we haven't found it yet. Okay. Can I have a wake Would up call? Please wake me tomorrow at 8 a.m. Of course. Lots of work? No. Actually, I don't even know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, Amanda? Amanda doesn't answer. Maybe it's for the beast. You told her you'd spend the afternoon with her. She must be real angry by now. Kovac, after a few rings, you leave a message on the machine. This is John yesterday. I think I left my phone at your place. Will you phone me at the hotel if you find it? I really hope that's not really loud for you guys. I'm looking at the levels and it's kind of kind of loud, but yeah, I did turn it up. We'll find out. Anyway, our phone's up there. Do we give up? We just say, screw it. It's just our phone. Who cares? Is there anything here? Sometimes there's things here. I got to put myself into the yesterday mindset. Okay. 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 We checked our pockets. Seems like something yesterday would make us do. Sometimes, ever since you saw Kovac's book, it itches. In your shoe! You're sure these are the you're sure these are the most comfortable shoes ever. I've been told shoes that look like that are comfortable. I just would not wear them. Love, hate. Pauline bought it for you, but it reminds you of another person. Ah! Someone you'd rather not remember and who has nothing to do with your current situation. Yeah, but this is love hate, not hate love, dude. You scare the crap out of me with that. Sometimes, two locks of your hair stand up, just like little horns. You're the devil. You got it in your butt? Oh, you got something in your butt. And your back is cute too, said Amanda. <laughs> When you stood up in the plane to relieve yourself of the margarita. You passed out. What? That don't make sense, game. Okay, fine. Let's go. That's just creepy. <laughs> Information? No. Switch? Nope. I know other characters I can play. Uh, This one? Why did you go to the effort to get it back? You don't need to answer now. 
Don't tell me what I need to answer. You won't call her. You don't do that kind of thing, do you? Game, game. Where the crap is the next thing to do? Do you move? No. Do you do a thing? No. Do you do a thing? No. Can I put the cart back in here? I can move. All right. Card, you go back. Sure you want to leave it there again? It's a rather a drastic way to forget Amanda. Coin? Insert coin into slot? No? It's not a slot machine? Okay. Says you. Why are you stupid? Call your phone! Oh, you look under this pillow too. No luck. Is that going to trigger something? New. No. Call your phone. Call your phone. Can we check the drawer? I mean, you may not want to, but... Call it. Call your phone, you stupid human being, devil son. No, get back there. Meh, 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 eh. So you finally decide to call her? Wow. You dial both her numbers, but no one answers. Throw the coin at it. This phone does not work with tokens. Not even Metro coins. I just want to throw it at it. I didn't want to use it. I don't know what to do. As always in this game, I have no idea what to do. Hey, what's that? That envelope wasn't there this morning. It wasn't there like three seconds ago either because I don't remember it. We got an envelope. Go away. Envelope. Surprisingly enough, you understand the Hindi, Hindi text on the card that was inside the envelope. What? There was a card? It's by M. What is M? Who is M? Oh, yeah. Diablo. Diablo 1? Probably. Don't look for me. I've already found you. Relax. We have some dinner. We've had, we've heard they make an excellent Diablo here. Have some dinner. We heard they make an excellent Diablo here. Okay. But, but why? I mean, I sunk a lot of hours into Diablo 2, but Diablo 1? Never really played. Diablo. Devil. Card it. Coin it. Put it back in the envelope. We don't want it anymore. Can we leave? Can we call room service? Room service! Bring me Diablo. Ooh, reception. Diablo. Do you have Diablo? You mean the burrito? Burrito Diablo? Yes, I guess. Can you please have one sent to my room? Of course, sir. Okay, I was like, do I seriously have to wait? Said and done, only five minutes after you hang up, a waiter brings you dinner. That's a microwave burrito right there. Oh, open it, it's going to be a horse head. What if the devil himself were inside? Well, he's tiny. We could take him. Ooh, puzzle! The Burrito Diablo was really a cryptic, a mechanism designed by Leonardo da Vinci. If you find the right word by moving the letters in its five rows, it should open and reveal what's inside. Are you going to tell me it's Diablo, right? Oh my god. Hey, guess what? You're going to figure out that I don't spell well. <laughs> the D-I? No. What? Did you say I heard a click? I was mashing to get to A. Let's go back around to B. I want to see what happens. Did it really just say? Ow. What the crap is that? Today's been a... Oh, what? The Okay, I gotta pay attention. We gotta get one of those to pop up again. I'm only gonna hit it slowly. You've met many devils in your life. Which one was the worst? Is that what you said last time? Right, so we're looking... I mean, it's gotta be Diablo, right? D-I-A-B-L-O. I said five, right? One, two, three. 
One, two, three. It's six letters, Diablo. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, so it's five. But Diablo is six letters. D-I-A-B-L-O. I can see it on that card. Diablo. It's six letters, so it's not Diablo. Devils. So your name your name is John. Is it J H O N uh, I mean unless it's John with an E. Like Johnny. I gotta really figure that out. That's bullcrap. Hmm. Let me read this again. Okay, so Diablo is written in Mexican. No, English. Am I really supposed to know? I mean, it's clear as day. Six. Six letters. I don't know. Am I supposed to know this? Can I have a hint? Pop something up again. I don't want to be Google in this game every episode. But I don't. Come on. Why you don't pop something up? Hmm. Will you pop something up on this one? Possible. How could a man? How could Amanda have something to do with this? We're just experimenting. The mechanism opened by rotating the letters by inserting tokens. Dude. Oh great! Now I got that thing again. That's so weird. Okay, wait. Does that envelope have something on it? It's an M. Can you zoom in on that, dude? Hold the letter up to the light. No. Here? Can I? I was hoping like there would be like something secret message hidden in it. Can I play with the light? No. Is it here? It's shocking that Central Park is larger than some European countries. Huh. Phone and a friend. Weird. No single. Does it work anymore? What? But I need to phone a friend. Fine. Give me 50 50. No? Can I ask the audience? Yo, what's the answer? New York, New York tourist. No clues about Scaparita. Such a shame. Well, that ain't a five letter word. Turn the TV on. I don't care. No, just just turn it on. Ha. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Am I supposed to know the answer? Can I somehow? How does John yesterday spell his name? How does John yesterday spell his name? Bone, you're next to me for once. One second, we're Googling. All right. Uh, John, like that? Or how do you do that? Yester. So it's J-O-H-N, so it's only four.
Yeah, J O H N. And we need a five. D E V I L. It's devil. D E V I L. Want to try that? We can try it. We gotta get all the way to the D. We gotta get all the way to the E. I wish this was a whole lot faster, but it's not. It's this is it. This is the speed. This is the speed we go. Sorry, got distracted. <laughs> D E V. Ah, I forgot. He's elastic to move over. I L. At least L is close and I is close. No, nope, you jerk. I thought I moved over enough. Now I gotta go all the way around. Come on. This has to be it, right? What's the worst demon you ever met? The devil. Have we met the devil? I have no idea. DVI. Eh? It's incredibly increasingly clear. You must spell the name of a devil. You must spell the name of a devil. I did. Devil. Dante? No. Well, he may cry. He. he. I don't know the name of a devil. Nope. I don't know the name of a devil. Wow, I don't understand this. Uh, fine. You win game. Let's go... Yesterday... Devil name. That didn't work. Devil puzzle? Uh, this is not telling me what to do. Wait, is it? Okay. I think I might have found it. It might be genus? G-I-N-E-S? And how the crap was I supposed to know that? Where'd we hear that name? Huh. Slow puzzle. All the way around to the E. Ugh. Such a slow puzzle. Yeah, we definitely never heard that name before. Slow down. Stop mashing. Hmm. Old Genus, always hiding the key. Yeah, okay. I do not know how we were supposed to know that name. Hey, look at that. The USB drive. Okay. Well, we can put that on the computer. We know that part. Stop it. Nope, this one. And we got that stupid thing popping back up. Oh, sorry. I forgot you had that. Apologies. My name is John Yesterday. In the meantime, if you want... That's Danish. Bad Danish, actually. Nonetheless, you understand it. How? We'll meet at dawn. Where? Across the street. Want to know the exact location? Sleep on it. 
Okay. It's got creepy. So, Karapria stole your cell phone. How? Where? Yeah, right there. Sorry. Ooh. This Scarapia guy likes to play games, doesn't he? Do we just go to bed? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Do we just go to bed? Does this thing work yet? Nope. It's broken. Now move on. Okay, okay, okay. The video said sleep on it. Dun 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 dun. Ooh. Remember the dude's instructions. You look inside the pillow and find a small ultraviolet flashlight. How'd you not feel that to begin with? Hmm. Wait, can I now do... That looked too suspiciously... Bl Stop that. Come on. It looked way too blank for me. Really? Really. Still looks way too blank for me. Hindai holds no secrets for you. At least none that can be unrevealed with ultraviolet light. Or no be revealed, whatever. Oh! The picture! I mean, it's going to tell us the location. Dun, 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 dun. Searching for the location. Where do you want to meet? Is that it? No. Oh, come on. You're going to want to meet somewhere in the park, right? It's got to be. Not in the water. Oh. What? How? What's lighting up? Oh, there's an X. I did see it. I saw it real quickly. There's an X there. Underneath the A. There it is. Congratulations. He, okay, was putting you to the test. You passed. Yep. Don't celebrate just yet. Take a rest. Tomorrow... You leave on a field trip. Okay. That's a statue right there, no doubt about it. Good morning. You've almost what convinced the? me you're the happy prince I'm looking for, Mr. Yesterday. Almost. There's a closed box on my hat. Do not touch it. Do not damage it. Open it, and you'll open your own past and future. What? Tell me about the box. What's in the box? Something that you, if you are you, gave to the founder of my order, and that came down to me through the generations. I won't tell you anything more. I want to see the surprised look on your face. But I'm not allowed to touch it. Can I open it like I want? No, you must open it as it's supposed to be opened. So I must find the key. Possibly. This is absurd. Why don't you just give me what you want to give me? Because, as I already told you, I'm not really sure that you are you. I don't even know if you are the one I'm looking for. I can't trust you. <laughs> Steal the well, box. what if I just take it away? I'm aiming at you from a treetop what? 100 meters away from here. Dying is a disgusting experience, as you may know. I'll come back. Are you Scarpetta? I thought you were a man of culture. I'm Hans Christian Andersen, renowned Danish writer. Very funny. Kovacs said you had something to do with the Vatican. That's not completely true. Maybe in the past. But we'll talk about it when you open the box. Why did you help Kovac in his investigation? I did it in exchange for obtaining a certain symbol on the cover of the book. A symbol that's proven quite useful in luring you. 
Your Danish sounds like Italian, like your surname. Oh, and you certainly remember how Danish was pronounced in Hans Christian Andersen's days. Where I came from doesn't matter. Aren't you going to help me? What's the point of making up a game to put someone to the test if you then tell him what he's supposed to do? To make progress. I can't see a microphone or a loudspeaker, but you hear me and I hear you. They're like the Emperor's new clothes. They're there, but nobody can see them. At least, not until you open the box. But then you'll be too busy with my surprise. Okay. Oh, what is this thing? It's a duck. Hello, duck. The wooden duck. So it's expensive. It's so expensive it should be golden. If Baxter finally buys a Nio, you can go with Pauline before it's an old rotten duck. Hello, duck. All right, let me talk. Let me see the box. No, box. Explore. I'm gonna explore your neck. It's halfway between a bow tie and a painter's handkerchief, handkerchief thing. The ugly duckling. Pauline always said she was an ugly duckling at school. Maybe this is where that comes from. Box. What's inside? Coin. Not even using it as a lever or inserting it into the lock will open the books. What? Fine, I'm out of here. Oh boy. Now we got a puzzle. Let's talk to the dude. Actually, bench. You look under it. Advice to yours. But no. Coin? Hey, you're looking at a telephone pole for, or light pole. I'm gonna explore you first. He seems like a nice guy. He tries to hide the fact that he's bald by leaving one side of his hair longer in order to comb it over the center. After a shower, he must look like a mix between a punk and a, be a beggar. It compensates the top of his head. It's funny how the official uniform of New York gardeners is green. Is it some sort of camouflage? It's got binoculars. Wow, I'm surprised you don't look at his belt. You're obsessed with belts. But okay. Let's uh, talk to him. Good morning. Shh, good day. No make noise. What are you looking at? Look, bird. This hour more good. Park no noise. Me search more good. Can I borrow those for a moment? No, I sorry. No can. What's the name of that bird? Not no name your language. In mine is Grmusha. That's Serbian. It means warbler. That. Lawrence is warbler. You know Serbian and birdology? No. Well, maybe. But from a long time ago. I have a weird memory. How is it that you find the bird better when there's no noise? Because sing, not hear, sing beauty, more good any song, but sing rebounds, I know not tree. So you like birds? All animal. One time, small animal sacrifice for me. I shame for people many time, never shame for animal. Maybe you've seen a man on a tree with your binoculars? No, I no see. But time see men do kisses among trees. Me shame. No say, park boss. Do you come to the park every day? I work park. Garden work. I happy. Before, I security guard. Always problems. Violence. Violence is shame. I please change. Where are you from? Country exists no more. Me run. All lose. Why did you escape from your country? War. Friends, they killed. No stand fear and fled. But no shame. Life more important. How many years ago did you leave your country? Twenty-three year ago. But I no learn American. Speak little to people. 
Do you want to go back to your country? Nothing of me there. Only bad memory. Memory like sea. If a wave splashes, if close, you sink. Okay. So we have to open a box. We'll do that in the next episode. We got a dude looking at birds. We got a boat on the ocean. We got a vehicle I want to steal. And a thing in the back. We have a sign over there. Plenty to do. In the next episode, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support if you're new. And you haven't. Subscribe for more content. Feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?